Before we get started with today's video, I just want to make a quick announcement. The Online Jewelry Academy is not releasing videos on a regular weekly basis anymore. So it's more important than ever that you hit the button in the lower right hand corner of your screen and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notifications when we do release a new video. And we've released a new course on Udemy.com entitled Five Ways to Enhance Jewelry Designs with Stone Setting. So be sure you check that out. Now let's get to the video. Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In a previous video, I went over the anatomy of a file and provided you with some details about the various types of cuts found on files and what they're commonly used for. In this video, I want to go over some of the shapes of files and give you an idea of what they can do to help you with the refinement of your metal projects. By the way, all of the shapes that we're going to examine are available in a variety of lengths and sizes, including needle and mini sizes. Most jewelers own numerous files and have the same file in a number of sizes and cuts. I personally have files that range from a zero cut to a four cut, and my collection of files includes every size of file. And if you're just beginning, that might be intimidating, but to purchase files at the beginning of your jewelry career, you should definitely buy a set of two cut needle files, a two cut pillar file, a four cut beret file, and both a two and zero cut half round files. You can always add to your collection as the need arises. Now, the first group of files that I wanna cover is what I refer to as the general purpose files. These are the files that you probably mentally associate with the word file. They all have a flat, elongated shape and are parallel in width and thickness. The real difference between them are the type of cuts that they have and where you will or won't find the cuts. The first in this group is one that I find most often on a jeweler's bench. It's a pillar file. Now, this type of file is used for precision work or to finish most filing operations. They have a double cut on both sides and are uncut or smooth on their edges. Variations of this type of file are a flat file and another file is the equaling file. This has double cuts on its sides and single cuts on its edges. These are commonly used to perfect slots, corners, and narrow openings. The next group has more variety in terms of shape. They're used to prepare or refine jewelry elements with precise angles. They are the square, triangle, and beret files. A cousin of the square file is the narrow pillar file. The square and triangle files offer precise angles that are great for refining corners and slots. The beret, one of my personal favorites, was designed to perfect and refine gear teeth, but this file has a shape that's great for stone setting operations, especially where the objects are close together. The next set of files I like to refer to as the curved set. This includes your half round, round, and crossing file shapes. Now, Obviously, all of the shapes in this group are designed to file and finish curved surfaces. The one that I want to focus on is the crossing file. I tend to pick up my needle sized crossing file quite a bit. It has two rounded sides, one a little flatter than the other, but what makes it really useful is that it can be used to file the junction where two curved surfaces meet. Now, a bit of advice. You should have a zero cut half round file in your toolkit. It's great for quickly filing down crummy surfaces or opening up a ring. Now I want to show you a few file shapes that might be in your collection that you probably aren't all that familiar with. This is one that I particularly find interesting. It's called a Pippin file or an Appleseed file. It has a V shape like a knife file combined with a rounded edge similar to a half round file. This is a shape that offers a lot of possibilities. You might pick it up and file an entire project with it. It can get into tight corners and tackle rounded surfaces. By the way, a knife file in a needle size might be your ticket to handling your own prong setting. 
Some people just aren't able to handle the flex shaft when it comes to notching prongs, but they can certainly handle the knife file. If you find yourself in a tight corner where the knife file just won't fit, you might want to turn to either a slitting or slotting file. Now, the cool thing about the slotting file is that it's smooth in the middle. So if you had a little too much coffee, you don't need to worry that you're going to widen the opening of the tight area that you're trying to perfect with this file. Another fun shape is a crochet file. Obviously, it's good for perfecting slots with rounded edges, but it can come in handy when you're addressing surfaces where a flat and curved surface meet. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and aren't totally confused. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember, you can find our complete playlist on our website. And thanks for watching.